Just a quick note, these questions are going to carry on. So we've got 5.1.1, 5.1.2, and then on the next slide, 5.1.3. So let's start. First, well, let's first see what we have here. In the diagram below, P, okay, that is a point such that OP is 25, blah, 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 where B is an obtuse angle. Calculate the value of X. Okay, guys, so what we do is we just make a triangle. That's step one. Even though the angle's on the outside, you're just going to work from this little angle on the inside, you are never gonna try work out this angle and say, oh, that's 180 minus beta because of angles on a straight line. We don't do that. You're just gonna work from this angle. Okay, so we know that this length here is 25, this uh, length here. This is a Y value, so that means that this length is 24. And so you need to work out this l distance over here because then that will help you to work out the value of x. So to do that, we just use Pythagoras. So we can just say that um, 25 squared is equal to, let's just call this x, x squared plus 24 squared, and that's for, because of Pythagoras. Um, and then if we had to get x squared alone, you would eventually get 25 squared minus 24 squared. Okay, and that's going to be 49. But then if you square root that, um, you're going to get 7. Now, be careful. Uh, this this length is 7, but because it's going in the negative direction, um, this x value here would actually be negative 7, right? Because it's in the negative, it's where x is negative. So the value of x is negative 7. So I'm just going to put in a negative 7 over there just so we can remember that. Next, determine the value of the following uh, without using a calculator, sin b. Now, remember, b is there, but guys, you're just going to work from this angle over here, and you're just going to use sin. Now, sin, um, depending on if you use the x, y, r method, or if you use something like Sokotoa or any other little riddle that your teacher's given you, um, like some old hens, cackle and how, you know, all these weird things, or Oh, how another hour of algebra. I've heard so many different ones. Um, but the most famous one is just Sokotoa. And then some learners still prefer to use um, the Y, R, X method. Okay, so sin. Sin is equal to um, opposite over hypotenuse. If you prefer the Y, R method, then it's Y over R. Okay, so if, we start, if we're starting here, then the opposite is 24 and the hypotenuse is the 25, okay? Now some learners are like, okay, okay. Um, they, they, they say sin beta is 24 over 25, and then they start saying shift sin on their calculator, and they wanna start working out, they wanna start going further by using shift sin. But remember, if you use, if you use shift sin, then you are calculating the angle beta, but they didn't ask you for the angle beta, they're asking you for sin beta. And look, we have it, sin beta is equal to 24 over 25. If the question said, find beta, yeah, then we can start looking for angles and stuff. Okay, that catches a lot of students out. Next one, cos 180 minus beta. Okay, so we need to use our cost diagram first. Okay, so we know that this is always 180 minus beta, this is always 180 plus beta, and this is always 360 minus beta. Now, okay, so we have 180 minus beta, so we've got that, but cos is negative in that quadrant. Remember, this is the quadrant where sin is positive, so this is going to end up becoming, um, I hope your reduction is pretty good so you understand what I'm about to do, this just becomes negative cos beta. If you're confused right now, you need to go back and go over your reduction, okay? Um, so that's just going to be negative cos beta. Now we need to go get that uh, on this diagram. And then we'll need to go get cos beta, which is from the um, Sokotoa. We know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. If you prefer the x, r, y method, then it'll be x over x over r, sorry. And so that's going to be negative because we have a negative over there. And then x is negative 7, so we'll put a negative 7. And then r is, not r, but um, your hypotenuse is 25. And so those negatives are going to cancel, or they're going to combine to make a positive. And so the answer there would be 7 over 25. All right, and then the last one for this one, please note there are still more questions that follow on. But for this slide, uh, tan negative beta. Okay, so on our cost diagram, we know that we have 180 minus beta, 180 plus beta, and 360 
minus beta. What I've said in previous lessons is that if this angle does not look like anything on this cast diagram, just add 360 or minus 360, depending on what is appropriate for that particular scenario. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we are gonna um, add 360. We are allowed to do that because mathematically, if you are on a cast diagram over here, if you add 360, you're in the same place. And if you minus 360, you're still in the same place, okay? Now, the reason we do that is when you plus, order doesn't matter. For example, three plus five is eight, right? But five plus three is also eight. So when you plus, this doesn't, the order doesn't matter. So now I can put the 360 in the front and I can put the minus B over there. So that becomes tan of 360 minus B. And now we're happy because we have something that is on our cast diagram. So we know that tan is not positive in this quadrant. Tan is negative, so this will just become negative tan B. Now we simply go to our diagram and we get tan. Now tan from Sokotoa is opposite over adjacent, but if you prefer the x, y, r method, then it's y over x. And so we go to our little diagram and we look for the opposite, which is 24, and we look for the adjacent, which is negative 7. So this is going to become negative, and then the opposite is 24, and that's negative 7. So these negatives are going to cancel, and so your final answer there should be 24 over 7. And here's the last part. So it says that T is a point on OP. Okay, so there's T. We can see it. It's a point on the line OP, yep, such that OT is 15. Okay, so this is only 15. Determine the coordinates of t without using a calculator. Okay, so a bit of a weird question, but anyways, um, we already worked out earlier that x was minus 7, right? So this length here, they tell us, is 15. So how far up this line have we gone? Well, what fraction of this line? So we can say that, um, so like what what fraction of this whole line is OT. Well, we can say that OT is 15 out of a total length of 25, right? And if you simplify that, that's 3 fifths. So that means that the length of OT is 3 fifths the length of OP. Okay, so it's 3 fifths the length. So then we can just take the x value and get 3 fifths of that, and then we can take this x value, I mean this y value, and just get 3 fifths of that. So the TX value or let's rather say the x value of t will be three-fifths of um, this x value, which is times by minus 7, and so that's going to be negative 21 over 5. And then the y value of t will be three-fifths of this one's y value, which is 24, and so that's going to be 72 over 5. And so the final coordinates, or well, the way that you'd write the answer would be um, the x value, negative 21 over 5, and then the y value, 72 over 5.